All right, I have something very special for you today, and it's actually in this box. Let's open it up. To Jimmy Cooper from, here's a hint, Cody Fields. Does that give anything away yet? Maybe, maybe not. In this box, we have a Vox. A Vox in a box. This is the Geneva Amp Sim version two from Westminster Effects. Beautiful. I'm just gonna go ahead and say this thing is amazing and the reason I wanted to share it with you on this channel is because I love sharing with you things that are helpful for worship leaders and I talk a lot about different kinds of effects, specifically the HX Stomp that I have on my board right here. I talk about that all the time because I really believe in it. I believe that those who are looking to get great um, electric guitar sounds who are just getting into it or maybe just want a simplified setup, a simplified rig like I did, this is the way to go. But maybe you don't have money to spend, drop 600 bucks or 500 on the used market for an HX Stomp, and maybe you don't have 350 to $400 to spend on a Strymon Iridium. You might be able to afford the Geneva Amp Sim version two, which is only, I forgot how much it is. Let's look it up. Westminster Effects. If you go to store at the top and do DI series, boom. 219, 219 bucks, which is more than half off a HX Stomp, which is not even in the same ballpark as far as what it can do. And it's also a little less flexible than the Strymon Iridium. This is pretty much a one trick pony, but it does that one thing really well. And we're gonna get into that. And so there's a few things I wanna say before we do. I'm gonna make more than one video about this pedal, and I'm very excited about the videos that are coming, as well as this video. Today we're gonna talk about the features and what it does, and we're also gonna plug it up and listen to it. And then the video after this one, which you're gonna wanna see, so don't forget to like this video, subscribe so you don't miss it. We're going to put this head to head with the AC30 on the HX Stomp. Did I say this is an AC30 amp sim? That's what it is. It also has a cap simulator. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's dig in. All right, so before we get too much further, I wanted to pose the question, are amps dead? Like, are they dead? Do we need amps anymore? And I'm talking about specifically in worship music because here's my experience, everywhere I play, Amps aren't needed anymore. I used to have a Tyler HM18. It was an amazing amp, but it sat on the shelf for a year without me playing it. A year. That's too long for a piece of gear that you're not using. And so I thought, somebody needs to be playing this thing. So I ended up selling it because everywhere I play at my church, we have um, amp boxes in the back where I could put my amp back there. And I, I love doing that. But once I got the HX Stomp, it just was so much easier not to lug around my amp. I play other places too. I often lead worship up here at the seminary and they've gone to a silent stage. They don't use amps anymore. They actually have a Kemper that you can plug your rig into. And so I was like, well, I don't need an amp there either. And then I got to thinking in the worship world, how many people are actually still using amps? And so I'd like to take a little poll in this video. Let me know down below, do you or do you not still use amps? Just drop me a comment let me know and if you don't mind let me know your reasoning down below like are you one of those people that's like I will never play a modeler just give me a real amp every time or are you a modeler and you're like I'll never go back to amps or are you just somewhere in between I know there's a spectrum let me know down in the comments I'd love to hear from you but from my perspective I feel like amps are in the worship world dead because there are so many good alternatives out there that are so much more convenient, so much easier, and so much more versatile. On this here HX Stomp, you can pull up any amp you want and try out different things that you would not normally be able to do with just having your own amp. Usually you buy one, maybe if you're lucky, two amps. You might be a collector and have more than that, but that's not the norm. But with the Stomp, you can try out a bunch of different sounds and really dial in the tone that fits you best. But then Cody Fields from Westminster Effects sends me this little guy and I was like, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll try it out. And let me tell you, I was blown away. This thing sounds amazing. And then I was thinking, there's a lot of people in the worship world who use like a Vox AC30 and that's what this thing is simulating. How cool would it be if you didn't have to tote around that big old heavy amp and just have this at the end of your pedal board? As someone who used to be give me an amp only, this is just another piece of gear that is pointing me in a different direction. All right, so let me quickly show you some of the features that makes this thing special and what it can do. There's actually some other really good videos that go more into depth about this pedal. I'll try to link those below. But what you have on here is a few knobs that you will recognize. We have a volume control, 
a game control. We also have the bass and treble, which are very interactive with each other. And then we have this really cool Vox users will recognize the top boost channel. And what it does is it, it blends in that channel the more you dial it in, which is pretty cool. Next thing you'll note is that there is no switch. This is not a stomp box. You don't step on it. It's either on or it's off. And that leads us to these little toggles right here. On the top, we have cab sim and you can turn that off or on and right here we have a dry through and I'll explain this a little more in a second. What's very cool is on the side here we have a quarter inch out but we also have an XLR out which is something a lot of people in the HX Stomp world wish that the HX Stomp had XLR out. Well this has it. And just like a direct box it also has a little ground lift switch right in there. Can you see The lighting is not great. So what you could do is you can use this several different ways with these options. So it's actually a very versatile little pedal. You can run it first like I'm going to do today, which we have the cab sim on. There's an AC30 cab sim. We can also hear the effect of the pedal and not have the drive through on and hear everything this thing has to offer just by itself. I'm going to be running it through the effects loop of the stomp into GarageBand because that's the only way right now that I have to record. But we won't be hearing any other processing going on. It'll be just this pedal. Now I want to say Cody sent me this pedal, but this video is in no way sponsored. I'm not getting paid for it. And so I can say whatever I want. And so I will. There's just one thing that I would change. This is the version two. I've never played the version one. And so it already, it looks amazing. I wouldn't change hardly anything except I would make these little switches a little more intuitive. Once you know what they do, it's easy. But at first I was like, wait, what's going on here? I would try to make these switches go up and down so it's clear which way is on and off. Um, the amp sim to be on needs to go all the way to the left and off is right. Maybe that's understood. Maybe you knew that and I just feel stupid. Um, but now that I know that, also this dry through for the dry through to be on is also left but that makes me feel like the pedal's on. So it's actually to, to get the full pedal to be fully on, you gotta have this toggled left and this toggled right. So it's not labeled wrong or anything, it's just a little confusing since I didn't know and I had to like turn things and try to listen to what it was. But anyways, if you wanna hear the full amp sim and cab sim, turn this all the way on, turn this off because this is drive through on. Which leads me to the second way you might wanna use it, which is to turn the cab simulation off and just hear the pedal and use it as a preamp or like an overdrive going into an existing amp and then you can shape the tone of that amp. In the next video I'm gonna do that I mentioned, I'm gonna put this head to head with the HX Stomp. I'm actually gonna turn the cab off and run both the AC30 in the stomp and this into an IR so we have like an objective reference point. So remember, subscribe so you don't miss that video. But the other thing you could do is just hit this dry through and then you could just use this as a direct box. So say you had this at the end of your chain and sometimes you use it as an amp and then sometimes you're like, hey, I just want to bypass this because I don't need it at all. You can still just leave it on your board and use it as a direct box, which is pretty cool. All right, let's plug this thing up and see if in fact our amps dead. Do we even need amps anymore? Let's find out. Now, let me just set everything back to kind of like noon. I'm gonna take this top boost all the way out. Sorry if my camera's shaking, but this is the setup we got. A little thing. Anyways, um, volume, I'm gonna bring the gain down and I, um, I have my cab sim on. I also have the dry through off, which means we're hearing the, what the knobs are doing. I'm using my new to me, Reverend, um, Gil Paris natural. I have it on the mainly the single coil in the middle. I'm going to be going to the two and four position as well. And that sounds like this. So our clean tone and I have the bass contour knob all the way up. So here is the middle position. Here is the neck. Well, the four position neck and middle. And then here is the two position. And just because I'm gonna roll the bass off, this is the um, just the humbucker in the bridge. And the neck. Back to the middle.
So right now we already have a really good clean tone, but I like to run my amps a little more dirty. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the sweep of this top boost with the settings that we have right now so you can kind of see what that does. And what how I understand it is that it blends in the top boost channel, so you get to blend in as much of that as you want. So let me just go um, here, halfway, and then all the way up. Um, to my ears, it sounds like the top boost pretty much maxes out somewhere like around here. From here to here, I don't really hear that much more of boost, but from zero to about 50 or 60 percent, it's a lot different. So, and I think it depends on how you dial in the treble and the bass. So, let's put the top boost all the way. Uh, let's put the top boost here and let's bring in the treble. <laughs> All right, let's put everything back and get a nice um, rhythm sound. I'm gonna bring back the volume, bring up the gain, and let's see what this sounds like. Already, we have way more gain. Let's go back a little bit. Put these at noon. Bring it, got muddy quick. Let's just max that out. We're getting near to the sound I would want my amp just to be set at uh, and then push pedals into it. That just sounds amazing. But let's see how much more gain we can get out of it. So I'm gonna crank the gain, pull back the volume a little bit, um, bring out the bass. Let's see what we got. Right. top boost humbucker Sounds pretty good. I think I might add some more of that top boost back in. Crank the treble back up again. All right, let's put it back on something a little more usable, something I would use. I think I like the gain about there. I think bring that bass out. I'm gonna use the... Um... I like that, that sound right there. I 
would take the gain out a little bit more. Don't you just love that tone right there? I mean, it just feels good. All right, so that you can see on the screen, let's add some overdrive in front of it. And let's just bring in, actually, let's go to my favorites and bring in my, what do I have? The Timmy. Here we go. hear my nice ambient slap my room slap ambi Does that not sound amazing? I love that. Nope. Let's get a delay going here. Let's just do a, a regular stereo simple delay. And we'll scale it. There we go. the amp this is overdrive off there's a boost I love that clarity. Humbucker, no bass in the contour. Some other overdrive. What else should we play? Let's just turn off all the effects and let's use it as a volume boost. Gain off. Let's go back to our four position.
volume all the way up. Oh, you got it. You can see. You can see. I keep forgetting. Somewhere right between there, it just gets real thick. Max everything out. something else let's turn off what was my favorite setting i like to boost the volume take out the bass a little i think that was my favorite <laughs> And I'm going to turn off the cab sim and see what we get. Turn that off. So if you already had your favorite IR or you had um, a cab that you like to use in your house, you could use this just to shape the tone of that cab and turn the cab sim off just like that. So yeah, if you have your favorite IRs, I actually have some, let's, let's pick another IR here. This one is what I'm going to use in the shootout, in the HX Stomp shootout. This is an IR from um, David Hillsop. 
his lop. Did I say it wrong? His lop. All right, so what did you think? Um, now thinking about the question, are amps dead? Are you a little closer to agreeing with me or not? Let me know down in the comments. Obviously, amps aren't going anywhere, I know that, but it is easier and easier to get some great tones without lugging around an amp. Second thing I wanna talk about is, thank you for watching this far in the video. You will be the first to know that I'm actually gonna to get to give this away. When Cody sent it to me, he said, hey, give it away. So I get to give this away to one of my lucky subscribers. I love giving back to you guys because I appreciate you all so much. So anytime I get something, I don't need it, I get to give it away. So look out for details in the next video when I have it all set up. Make sure you do everything you can to get this because this is an amazing piece of gear. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.